Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we are going to cover another topic in Salesforce, which is Salesforce Lightning Usage Application. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to cover what is Salesforce Lightning Usage App, what is the purpose of it, what are all the metrics um, offered by the Salesforce Lightning Usage Application, who can access this application and from where they can go ahead and access it, and then we will get into our demo. So now let us understand what is Salesforce Lightning Usage Application. So this Lightning Usage Application is mainly used to track the adoption to the Lightning experience. Using this Lightning Usage Application, we can monitor the metrics like how many active daily users are, what is the most visited pages in the Lightning. We can also track the number of active uh, licenses. Um, likewise, it will give you insights to help you understand your users needs so that you can focus on the issues that really matters. How can you access this lightning usage application? It is you can directly access it from the app launcher or you can go to you know in the quick find box you can search for the lightning usage and you can use this application. I will walking I will uh, walk you through on how you can use this application in our uh, demo. Uh, metrics is something we'll talk about in a while. But before we get into the metrics, uh, let's understand the main purpose of it. Like, you know, whenever uh, we roll out the migration that is from classic to the lightning, right? Uh, we ask the users to switch to the lightning. It is always important that we know how our users are interacting with the lightning experience and see what all improvements can be made that adds value to the users, right? That is the most important thing. And Whenever uh, any changes like switching from classic to the lightning happens, it is very difficult for, our, for any of our customers to adopt to that specific change, isn't it? Because the user experience of classic is entirely different to the lightning. The entire UI gets changed when the customers are in the lightning as well as if, I mean, the customers, if they are using the classic, the entire user experience get changed with new screens, new functionality, right? Uh, so, as an admin, we can make use of this lightning usage application and get to know the metrics like, uh, uh, like you know, daily and monthly active users in the lightning experience and the Salesforce mobile application, daily and monthly switches to Salesforce classing by total number of switches and unique number of unique users that switched, profiles and users that switched to classic the most. These and all are the most important metrics that you can get using the Lightning Usage app. Type of browsers used to access the Lightning application experience and uh, the Salesforce mobile app. What and all are the slowest record pages that you can know using the Lightning Usage application. What are the pages which are viewed most by our users or our customers in the Lightning experience? That is also you can know it using the Lightning Usage app. The number of the active user feature and permissions and licenses can also be viewed using the Lightning Usage app. One of the most important thing, thing that you need to remember that you cannot export the data in the Lightning Usage app. You can use the Lightning Usage app API to export this data. So let us try to log in into our Salesforce and see how you can access this lightning usage application this application is free of use so anybody can go ahead and log in uh, to your salesforce devoc or salesforce production and they can use this application uh, lightning usage ap application and get to know the metrics um, what we have discussed let's log in into the salesforce developer org so i have already logged in into my salesforce devoc so here you see this is my salesforce devoc now on the left hand side if you see you have set up home service uh, setup and here you can see lightning usage right so this is the place where you can use this application lightning usage so when you click on this it gives me the lightning usage app tracks the adoption and usage to the lightning experience so you can monitor the progress of transition of your transition and understand your user needs when you click on view usage metrics it will open up a new page and it will give me a list of activities lightning experience you have salesforce mobile then in the usage you have switches to classic which browser people are using 
the number of the pages, most viewed pages, active licenses, login metrics. Let's do a deep dive. What is this lightning experience? So here it will tell me how many users are using this lightning experience. Like you have total this in this because this is my developer org, right? So definitely the monthly user, active users, month number of unique monthly active users over the past three months, number of unique daily active users over the past month. So this gives me daily active users. Most active users by profile, it will give me, yes, of course, in my org system admin is the most active profile. So that is what it is providing me. But in the real time, it will give you a lot of different uh, profiles. According to your business use case, if you set up different profiles, like you have profile one, you have profile two, you have uh, support profile, you have sales profile, you have read-only profile. Likewise, according to those profiles, it, it will give me the most active users by the profiles. Likewise, so here it clearly says to learn more tips and tricks, check out the lightning experience rollout specialist on the trainer or run the Salesforce optimizer to receive a personalized report highlighting exactly how you can improve your org. So this will cover it in, in our neck in, an, in another topic. Okay, Salesforce optimizer. This is another tool which you can make use to improve your Salesforce org. All the key metrics will be visible here. Then if you wanted to find out why users switch back to the classic, you can enable enable the switch to classic user feedback form and you can get the feedback from your customers. Why are they actually shifting from the Salesforce Lightning to the Salesforce Classic? So these are a couple of things that you can perform under the Lightning experience. Let's talk about Salesforce Mobile. Here also it will give me who all the users who have used it, um, this application Salesforce in the in the mobile. I haven't used anything. There were no users. And here also nobody logged in into the developer org using the Salesforce mobile. Now let's also talk about the usage. Switch to classic. I haven't switched any time. We haven't switched to the classic. So here are the metrics, we were not able to see anything. However, when you to toggle onto this, help text number of the times users switched from lightning experience to classic over the past month compared to the previous month and here it will give me the unique switches to the classic so which means number of unique individual users who switched from lightning experience to salesforce classic over the past month number of the time so th this is the number of the time this is the number of the unique uh, individual users this is also you can find out here also it will give me because i haven't switched back uh, to the cl classic i was not able to view anything this is blank for me however in the real time uh, scenario these all will be filled in with a lot of different information now let us see the browser the browser information will be filled in here the browser is mainly it will tell me what specific browser I have used. So here you it tells me that okay the user this uh, couple of users are using Chrome. If there is anybody who is using Firefox it will give me that metrics. Browser usage by month for the past three months. So here it is give me browser usage. What is the performance? It is giving me average page load time. Average uh, performance by the browser right so these are the information that you can view which um, uh, with respect to the browser let's talk about the page here in the pages this is one of the most important uh, uh, most viewed um, application viewed activity or the usage because in this particular page uh, section you will be able to know how much time a page is taking to load that is here it tells me right if it is 30 seconds 40 seconds you know the most um, uh, viewed so according to this, by taking a look into this um, uh, performance, this page, um, record pages uh, time, you can know that, okay, this particular page is taking so much of time, then I would need to enhance the page uh, because if the page is taking so much of time to load, it is not a proper user experience, right? So you need to do something in order to uh, ensure that the load uh, performance of that specific page is uh, reduced. So this page gives you that specific information like, you know, 
most viewed pages these are all of the most viewed page what is a performance it, it when you click on this it will give me um, performance analysis performance of the most viewed page you see here 0 to 3 second so likewise it will give me the contact page the case record page if you see i was using this particular page uh, case record page lot of time so it is just taking 5 to 8 seconds all the different pages what we have so whenever you do any kind of customization when you try to create uh, different pages as per your business need that specific pages will be displayed here like how much time it is taking to load the uh, pages so here it is clearly giving us the range 0 to 3 seconds 3 to 5 5 to 8 8 to 10 and 10 plus seconds if at all it is taking more than 10 plus 10 seconds plus then those are the pages maybe you can Take a look into and see how you can enhance that specific page and reduce the performance of that particular page it is single page performance each page wise it is providing me the uh, details range of load times for the page up to 30 days now when you go back to the active licenses here it will give me the list of um, active licenses which are available because i'm using the system licenses system admin it is providing me that details Permission sets, I do not have any of the permission sets, but yeah, it is just giving me that 20 active permission sets. These are all the active permission sets available. Sales users, consoles user, we just have two, two, right? Those are the numbers which is providing here. Service cloud. It is not used, it is used. You see your active licenses it is used it is not used so likewise feature licenses number of the active feature licenses in your arc for up to 30 days let's go to the security it is mainly related to the multi-factor authentication how many free logins how many users logged in with multi-factor all that information will be showed here so this is how you can make use of the salesforce lighting um, uh, usage application which is very free you can um, just log in into your um, org and you can make use of this application in order to know the uh, metrics like the adoption um, adoption to these lighting experience like number of the pages visited uh, how many are the active daily users uh, you can also track your um, licenses all of those metrics can be measured using the salesforce uh, lightning usage application so that's what we have for today's session until we come up with our next video session, please do take care of yourself. Signing off, yours, Namrata Kariyana. Bye-bye.